Fort Polk is a United States Army installation located in Vernon Parish, approximately 10 miles east of Leesville, Louisiana, and 30 miles north of Derrida in Beauregard Parish, Louisiana. It was named in honor of the Right Reverend Leonidas Polk, the first Episcopal Bishop of the Diocese of Louisiana, and a distinguished Confederate General in the American Civil War. The post encompasses approximately 198,000 acres. Of this, 100,000 acres are owned by the Department of the Army and 98,125 acres by the U.S. Forest Service, mostly in the Kizachi National Forest. Fort Polk is the only combat training center that also trains and deploys combat units. In 2013, there were 10,877 troops stationed at Fort Polk, which generate an annual payroll of $980 million. Louisiana officials are lobbying the Army and the United States Congress to keep troop strength at full capacity despite looming defense cuts. Fort Polk began as a base for the Louisiana maneuvers in the 1940s. It served the 1st Armored Division in the 1950s, and became a basic training post during Vietnam War years of the 1960s and 70s. It hosted the 5th Infantry Division in the 1970s 1980s, and the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment in the 1990s and the 1st Maneuver Enhancement Brigade, and the 162nd Infantry Brigade in the 2000s. Fort Polk is now home to the Joint Readiness Training Center, the 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 10th Mountain Division, 115th Combat Support Hospital, U.S. Army Garrison and Bain Jones Army Community Hospital. The land that is now Fort Polk is part of a region of cultural resources, including archaeological sites, historic houses and structures, and other sites of historical value. The U.S. Army has spent considerable time, effort, and money on locating, identifying, and inventorying thousands of archaeological sites on Fort Polk and the property owned by the U.S. Forest Service where the Army trains. For more information on these cultural resources, visit polkhistory.org. Current events equals Installation Strategic Sustainability Plan equals, Fort Polk is currently working with stakeholders from the Army, civic leaders, and other interested agencies to develop an Installation Strategic Sustainability Plan. As good stewards and neighbors, it is imperative that Fort Polk's long-term sustainability goals are consistent with the shared responsibilities of this installation and the surrounding communities. This plan, which is built on Fort Polk a Euro unregistered trademark S25 year strategic goals, will effectively address sustainability issues that transcend our post boundaries and have regional or national interest. Fort Polk is paving the way for a new era in stewardship and integrated planning and considers this installation's strategic sustainability plan to be a critical step in the continued viability of our shared resources. The areas of interest for the installation's strategic sustainability plan are, facilities and infrastructure, workforce development, logistics, well-being, and readiness. Current units equals operations group equals the joint readiness training center is focused on improving unit readiness by providing highly realistic stressful joint and combined arms training across the full spectrum of conflict the jrtc is one of the united states army a euro unregistered trademark s3 a euro oe dirty euro combat training centers resource to train infantry brigade task forces and their subordinate elements in the joint contemporary operational environment with great emphasis on realism, the JRTC Operations Group provides rotational units with the opportunity to conduct joint operations which emphasize contingency force missions. The JRTC training scenario is based on each participating organization a Euro unregistered trademark S mission essential tasks list and many of exercises are mission rehearsals for actual operations the organization is scheduled to conduct. JRTC scenarios allow complete integration of Air Force and other military services as well as host nation and civilian role players. The exercise scenarios replicate many of the unique situations and challenges a unit may face to include host national officials and citizens, insurgents and terrorists, news media coverage and non-governmental organizations. 1-509th Infantry the mission of the opposing forces handled by the 1st Battalion, 
509th Infantry. It is the job of the 1-509th to conduct combat operations as a dedicated, capabilities-based opposing force to provide realistic, stressful, and challenging combat conditions for JRTC rotational units. Equals 4th Brigade Combat Team, 10th Mountain Division equals. The 4th Brigade Combat Team, 10th Mountain Division was officially activated at Fort Polk on January 19, 2005. As part of the U.S. Army's Transformation Initiative, this organization was designed to create a highly mobile, lethal, and flexible combat unit to support the rapid buildup of combat power wherever needed across the globe. The structure of the brigade is modular and provides for organic infantry, cavalry, field artillery, maintenance, logistic and support capabilities. The brigade was deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom from 2006 to 2007 then again for Operation Iraqi Freedom from December 2007 to January 2009. The brigade deployed to Afghanistan in fall 2010 and returned to the U.S. in fall 2011. Since the Brigadier Euro unregistered trademark S activation, they built an organization consisting of over 3,500 soldiers, developed their leaders, fielded dozens of new systems, and deployed whenever called upon to conduct any mission. Equals 115th Combat Support Hospital equals. The 115th Combat Support Hospital traces its origin to Evacuation Hospital No. 15, originally organized at Fort Riley, Kansas on March 21, 1918. At the onset of hostilities during World War I, the unit sailed aboard the SS Mateica, departing the United States on August 22, 1918, and arriving in France September 3, 1918. Evacuation Hospital No. 15 earned a battle streamer for its participation in the Meuse-Argonne Forest Offensive from September 26, 1918 through November 11, 1918. The hospital, having served honorably and proud during World War I, returned to the United States aboard the SS America and was demobilized at Camp Lewis, Washington on June 28, 1919. Evacuation Hospital No. 15 was reconstituted as the 15th Evacuation Hospital in 1936, after having been organized as an inactive unit of the regular army on October 1, 1933. 115th Combat Support Hospital is a deployable medical unit that provides medical specialities to the battlefield. Medical specialities provided by the 115th Combat Support Hospital include, general surgery, orthopedics, podiatry, and physical therapy. Additional support for clinical operations is provided through a pharmacy, x-ray services, clinical laboratories, anesthesia, and operative services. The 115th Combat Support Hospital is also staffed to provide medical command management and administrative support through an organic medical headquarters. During peacetime operations the 115th Field Hospital trains at the JRTC in Fort Polk. As a deployable medical systems hospital with the most modern equipment available, the unit is capable of being deployed in an area of operations during a contingency, war or national emergency. Equals U.S. Army Garrison equals. U.S. Army Garrison provides installation support for power projection, combat readiness and mission execution for all tenant units as well as JRTC rotational units. Provides quality services and facilities, all the while optimizing available resources, sustaining our environment and enhancing the overall well-being of the Fort Polk community. U.S. Army Garrison provides installation support for human resources morale, welfare and recreation, emergency services, logistics, public works, public affairs, equal opportunity, and plans, training, mobilization and security. Equals Bain Jones Army Community Hospital equals, Bain Jones Army Community Hospital provides accessible and effective health care for the JRTC and Fort Polk community. The Fort Polk Medical Facility compromises the Bain Jones Army Community Hospital, the Wellness and Readiness Center, the Department of Behavioral Health and the United States Army Air Ambulance Detachment. The hospital is named in honor of Brigadier General Stanett Bain Jones, a native of New Orleans, Louisiana. A bacteriologist and preventive medicine specialist, 
he achieved worldwide acclaim as the individual responsible for the control of typhus in Europe at the conclusion of World War II. 1940s equals World War II equals Construction of Camp Polk began in 1941. Thousands of wooden barracks sprang up quickly to support an army preparing to do battle on the North African, European and Pacific fronts. Soldiers at Polk participated in the Louisiana maneuvers, which were designed to test U.S. troops preparing for World War II. Until 1939, the Army had mostly been an infantry force with supporting artillery, engineer, and cavalry units. Few units had been motorized or mechanized. As U.S. involvement in World War II became more likely, the Army recognized the need to modernize the service. But it also needed large-scale maneuvers to test a fast-growing, inexperienced force. That is where Fort Polk and the Louisiana maneuvers came in. The maneuvers involved half a million soldiers in 19 Army divisions, and took place over 3,400 square miles in August and September 1941. The troops were divided equal armies of two notional countries, KOTMK and Ailmat. These countries were fighting over navigation rights for the Mississippi River. The maneuvers gave Army leadership the chance to test a new doctrine that stressed the need for both mass and mobility. Sixteen armored divisions sprang up during World War II after the lessons learned during the Louisiana maneuvers were considered. These divisions specialized in moving huge combined arms mechanized units long distances in combat. On the defensive front, U.S. doctrine was based on two needs, the ability to defeat blitzkrieg tactics, and how to deal with large numbers of German tanks attacking relatively narrow areas. As such, the maneuvers also tested the concept of the tank destroyer. In this concept, Highly mobile guns were held in reserve until friendly forces were attacked by enemy tanks. Then, the tank destroyers would be rapidly deployed to the flanks of the penetration. Tank destroyers employed aggressive, high-speed hit-and-run tactics. The conclusion drawn was that tank destroyer battalions should be raised. Immediately after the war, the battalions were disbanded and the anti-tank role was taken over by the infantry, engineer and armor branches equals German POWs equals. While primarily a training facility, Camp Polk also served as a military prison for Germans captured during World War II. The first prisoners of war, who began arriving in Louisiana in July 1943, were from the Africa Corps, Field Marshal Erwin Rommel a Euro unregistered trademark S troops who fought in North Africa. They were housed in a large fenced-in compound in the area now encompassing on a field, Fort Polk a Euro unregistered trademark S parade ground. Finding themselves captured, transported across the ocean, and imprisoned in the middle of summer was made to hurt their spirits. The POWs picked cotton, cut rice, and cut lumber. They also helped sandbag the raging Red River in the summer of 1944. Prisoners were not forced to work, and some refused. Those who worked earned scrip for their labor with which they could buy such necessities as toothpaste or snacks at their own post-exchange. From the end of World War II until the early 1960s, the post was closed and reopened numerous times. During much of this time, it was open only in the summers to support reserve component training. Soldiers were stationed there temporarily during the Korean War and the Berlin Crisis. 1950s equals Korea equals In August 1950, the 45th Infantry Division of the Oklahoma Army National Guard became the first unit to train at Fort Polk in preparation for the Korean War. During the Korean War the 45th Infantry Division suffered 4,004 casualties. 834 killed in action and 3,170 wounded in action the division was awarded four campaign streamers and one presidential unit citation. Most of the units who rotated through Camp Polk during 1952-54 were trained for combat by the 37th Infantry Division of the Ohio Army National Guard. Although the 37th Division itself was not sent to Korea as a unit, nearly every soldier was sent as an individual replacement. Equals Operation Sagebrush equals, in 1955, the U.S. military conducted another large training exercise that covered a substantial portion of Louisiana. Named Operation Sagebrush, 
The focus of this exercise was to evaluate the effectiveness of military operations in a nuclear environment. The exercise lasted for 15 days with 85,000 troops participating. A provisional army, meant to represent U.S. forces, was built around the 1st Armored Division and an opposing force was built around the 82nd Airborne Division. U.S. Air Force bombers and fighter planes also participated in this exercise with powerful aircraft operating in the sky, stirring great interest among the citizens of the region. Equals 1st Armored Division equals, upon completion of Operation Sagebrush, camp was declared a permanent installation and the 1st Armored Division was reassigned from Fort Hood to the newly renamed Fort Polk to continue to test mobility and combat strategies for the nuclear age. The 1st Armored Division, with its modern M48 Patton tanks and new helicopters, remained at Fort Polk until June 1959, before returning to Fort Hood. 1960s, 1970s. Equals Vietnam equals, in 1962, Fort Polk began converting to an advanced infantry training center. A small portion of Fort Polk is filled with dense, jungle-like vegetation, so this, along with Louisiana's heat, Humidity and precipitation helped commanders acclimatize new infantry soldiers in preparation for combat in Vietnam. This training area became known as Tigerland. For the next 12 years, more soldiers were shipped to Vietnam from Fort Polk than from any other American training base. For many, Fort Polk was the only Stutessite Army post they saw before assignment overseas. Many soldiers reported to basic training at Fort Polk and stayed on post for infantry training at Tigerland before being assigned to infantry line companies in Vietnam. On January 23, 1973, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger a Euro unregistered trademark S negotiated settlement to the hostilities took effect. In October 1974, Fort Polk became the new home of the 5th Infantry Division and basic training and AIT started being phased out. Fort Polk changed from a Continental Army Command Post in July 1975 and became a Forces Command member. In the spring of 1976, the Infantry Training Center at Fort Polk closed its doors and ceased operations. The final chapter of the Vietnam War ended for Fort Polk. 1970s, 1980s With the end of the Vietnam War, Fort Polk experienced a transition from an installation focused on basic and advanced individual training to that of the home of the reactivated 5th Infantry Division. Activated in September, 1975, the division called Fort Polk home until it was inactivated in November, 1992. The date of this inactivation, November 24, 1992 was exactly 75 years from the date of the original activation of the division on November 24, 1917. The division was organized with two active duty brigades and a brigade from the Louisiana National Guard. From 1972 until 1987, Fort Polk hosted the 1-40th Armored Battalion which was part of the 7th Armored Division. During that time 1-40th Armored participated in training exercises with the Louisiana Army National Guard, and 5th Infantry Division units. It was part of the Rapid Deployment Force for the operations in Grenada, but was not deployed, instead it was reassigned to the GDP in 1983 The 1-40 Armored Battalion took part in the Reforger 1984 exercises in Bavaria and two deployments to the National Training Center in 1984-1985. The 1 40 Armored Battalion was deactivated at Fort Polk in 1987. It was reactivated as the 40th Armored Cavalry Regiment at Fort Richardson in Alaska. While at Fort Polk, the 5th Infantry Division participated in the NATO Reforger 78 and 84 exercise in Europe and the 1989 invasion of Panama, known as Operation Just Cause from June 1987 to August. The 95th Division, TNG, conducted basic training exercises of approximately 600 recruits. The during the stay of the 5th Infantry Division, Fort Polk experienced a major building program. The post saw the construction of new barracks, motor pools, 1,000 family housing units, chapels, dental clinics and the Bain Jones Army Community Hospital. Also built during this time was a modern post-exchange commissary, where houses, classrooms, athletic complexes and improved gunnery ranges. 1990s 
equals JRTC moves to POC equals. In 1993, the Joint Readiness Training Center moved from Fort Chaffee, Arkansas, to Fort Polk, and once again, the post was called on to prepare soldiers for conflict. Each year, JRTC typically conducts several rotations for units about to deploy. During the 1990s, Fort Polk based soldiers deployed to Haiti, Southwest Asia, Suriname, Panama, Bosnia, and other locations. Where the support for the exercise is completed by the units participating in the exercise in conjunction with the 26th Operational Weather Squadron. Equal 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment equals. The 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment arrived at Fort Polk in 1993 as the Armored Cavalry Regiment of the 18 Airborne Corps. Elements of the regiment deployed to Haiti in 1995 in support of Operation Uphold Democracy and to Bosnia in 1996 in support of Operation Joint Endeavor. The 2nd AC are deployed to Kuwait, Qatar, Jordan and Djibouti in 2002-2 in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, and then deployed in Iraq in 2003 in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. The Army announced on May 14, 2004 that the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment would be transformed into an infantry-based striker brigade and moved to Fort Lewis, W.A. The transfer of the 2nd Armored Cavalry Regiment from Fort Polk to Fort Lewis was completed in 2006. The 2nd Striker Cavalry Regiment were later moved to Vilsack, Germany. National Guard, the Louisiana Army National Guard maintains a maintenance facility on Fort Polk which services its major units such as the 256th Infantry Brigade Combat Team and 225th Engineer Brigade. References External links, Official Website, Fort Polk Guardian Newspaper, Video Overview, USA, Training for Iraq, the short film Big Picture, Operation Sagebrush is available for free download at the Internet Archive. Precinct 368co.wordpress.com